Mr. 33 himself is trying to assemble his own rap group, his own rap collective, it seems like. And to be honest, he's got a good list so far. He got Southside Silhouette. That we both know that person in Cardi's camp don't mess with. No, I don't f the South Side Silhouette. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't ask me no s like that, bro. What do you I'm gonna tell y'all straight up, I don't f the South Side Silhouette, bro. <laughs> that s Lifeless Garments, aka Vamp Leak. Another man who has a lot surrounding his name, but makes God like music. And Rolling Thrax, another name that's been making waves. I've been giving the cold shoulder for these niggas. I don't know them. They just hit me because it's my yeah. Now, if y'all haven't been really paying attention to Ancarna's Twitter, but really, it looks like he's really trying to tap in into the underground. He already was tapped in. He got his own little SoundCloud, sicko SoundCloud and all that. But I feel like he's really trying to dive deep into the new wave and into the new underground because there is a lot of money to be made, new waves to be started. I don't know if he's still friends with Cardi or that, or that friendship is dead in the water. But right now, this man, Ian Connor, he already got so much surrounding his name. Almost everything you don't want to get labeled as in this industry. But he still made it, he's still here and making it Supposedly being Bill Cosby in the 80s And plagiarizing designs But you know what they say Imitation is the best form of flattery I'm looking at y'all, y'all niggas that be trying to take my thumbnail sauce It's cool though Every time this man Ian Connor tweets Someone bring the number 33 up You would think that's his jersey number But he's really trying to push a new wave of his own artist He's trying to make his own opium Sicko Our Lifeless Garments Already posting up in the sicko warehouse He got He can even got his own rapper slaving on t-shirts when business practice everyone gets treated the same no one better than nobody that should be the sicko motto or mantra i don't, I don't know the word i don't know English. that should be the sicko way if 12 year old jang is over here making the t-shirts that mean that your top shelf rapper should be too i am going to eat this little chinese boy how old are you it's a team effort at Sicko. And I wouldn't be surprised with all these allegations. I wouldn't be surprised if ASAP Bari came and tried to join in or try to stick in his hand in the underground space as well. Or he joined Sicko. But the Sicko lineup is looking really, really good. If you haven't heard these names already, I don't know what you're doing. It's looking like Ian Connor is trying to build himself an allegation Avengers, bro. This man, Ian Connor, Nick Fury, and all the rappers he's signing. Some of them, nothing behind them cool people haven't met them myself but they seem like cool people but this man hard rock supposedly in the military this is another man that ian connor is trying to get this man out he's trying looks like he's trying to like sign him or some more stuff this man hard rock over here shooting niggas in goddamn afghanistan and shit even though we not doing that right now and also is getting held at gunpoint by his management this nigga ian connor called his management a bitch ass nigga technically lifeless garments aka vamp leak if you look this nigga name up on twitter you gonna see some crazy ass shit real or not that nigga said he like age play clown what is age play nigga don't look it up you old you that shit weird, ain't it? Everyone's cool with calling random chicks on the internet mommy and daddy and some more stuff. So, hey, I, hey, I can't kick shame, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Where do we draw the line at kinks? I don't know. I don't need to mention nothing about Ian Connor. Oh, you know what I, I feel? Yeah. 
That's why I just said it. I said, yo, the bitch ain't trying to fuck him. Oh, she ain't got a But man, all I gotta say is, Ian Connor got an ear. Because all these motherfuckers is five. And it'll seem like they fucking with the sicko motion. Now, my question is, as an artist or producer, I don't know, he might be signing some producers. Who knows? Would you sign with sicko? Would you take on, would I say, a burden? It comes with perks. But then there's a lot of, it's a lot of bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, right when you join that motherfucker, niggas is not gonna call you P words and all, all types of names just because of association. You know what I'm saying? Shit happens. Look at what's going on with homicide, niggas. Be calling all homicide gang pedos and some old shit, and it was only one nigga, but shit happens. Pick your poison. Would you eat that apple? The red pill or the blue pill? The which one you taking? Opium or sicko? I would like to know. But Cloud, why would someone want to sign the sicko? Look, I know opium is the big thing right now. Everyone wants to be opium. Everyone's talking about opium. But to be honest, Ian Connor can get you the same or even more connections than I would say Playboy Cardi could. I know everyone says, everyone looks up to Playboy Cardi, but Playboy Cardi is a blueprint for the young niggas nowadays, which is true. But Ian Connor is not that far off. He been already was around Cardi. He recorded Cardi getting some neck. He a freaky deek ass nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas recording other niggas getting head or your fucking bitches with your boy or some shit. That shit low key gay, bro. I don't care how cool we is. I ain't fucking no bitch near you. I ain't I ain't letting you rap while I'm fucking a bitch on the couch or fucking bitch sucking my dick in the front seat and you getting headed in the back seat. Yes, nigga, I'm looking at you all them freak ass nigga them was white bitches too Ian Connor is the first A&R fashionista nigga to be quote unquote beefing with Drake he is that cool with Kanye and this nigga Drake he had to choose a side in the war and he chose Kanye Drake and Kanye were basically having a custody battle over this nigga and right after I say that Southside Silhouette just tweeted out that he just met Kanye I'm telling you this man Ian Connor's already making ways for the sicko name Ian Connor might be a better manager than Playboy Boy Cardi, he's already getting his artists to meet Ye and probably even more names of that stature. And if it only took not even that long for them to even meet Ye, fucking with Ian Connor, I can only imagine what's next for Sicko. Now the next question is, will Sicko sign prods? I think when you making the collective or making a group, I think it's really good to have a few prods, like one or two, not too many. Or I can do you one better, a person who can rap and prod, like a person like Pierre, Dev Stacks. Those are very hard to find basically an anomaly basically a real life chico because they can change the beat to fit their voice or if they don't like something small with they know everything they're basically a demigod in the music industry kanye west ian connor has stated though that he likes to hear music on his own chance he doesn't like other people oh go listen to this rapper go listen to this rapper sign him so he wants to listen to him himself and he be the judge of course because he has been doing his a and r shit before and this ain't new to ian connor but the real question is will this group become the top group will they go somewhere where they become as big as opium better than opium we just gonna have to see anyways if you rock with the video my name is saint cloud and what you think is next for sicko brother d this man is over here getting people he picking people up and some old stuff bro you got to be at the gas station about some dykes that's you know how lit that is that's not even embarrassing that's lit it's lit it's no that's lit it, bro it was bugging. bro if you I'm came in the gas bro. station lit i was lit out the zan bro in atlanta bro you know what i'm saying <laughs> i don't need this before south by southwest you know what i'm saying going to gas station i had on my skinny jeans or something bitches started laughing <laughs> What the fuck y'all laughing at? I'm on the bro. You know what the fuck y'all laughing at? What? Boom! Started tagging their ass. It wasn't no talking with me. 